each week, we check in with the Scooter Maven. Welcome back to another exciting Scooter Adventure with Joe the Scooter Maven. He travels the world in search of adventure and new scooters to ride. Each week, we check in with the Scooter Maven. He's been from Tokyo to Moscow and back. World leaders want to meet him, celebrities want to be him, but all he cares about are scooters. Fame, money, fortune, these are not the things a Scooter Maven cares about. He loves Scooter. So today we, uh, we wrapped up the show. We made sure to stop by PGO, check out their new buggy models, their 500cc buggy, which could or could not come to the US. Let's hope they pass EPA. Um, and we got to see the new Yamaha models, as well as the custom scooter show. Uh, it was great to stop by the Honda booth where the production manager told us about the Zoomer. And for those of you who missed that episode, the Zoomer, the Honda Ruckus, uh, does great in Japan, does great in the US, but it really doesn't sell in Italy or Germany or France for that matter, any other country. Um, but that doesn't stop the Chinese from knocking it off. There's been, I don't know, at least five or six knockoffs that we filmed this show. Um, one of them, the best one, which I would like to say inspired by the Zoomer, was the Dalen. The Dalen, which uh, was, they're appointing a new distributor in the US this year. Uh, so we should hear more from Dalen in 2009. Hopefully they'll have a new distributor at that point. And we'll see their uh, new ruckus look like come into the market. Um, we saw the new models from Malaguti. Unfortunately, they're too expensive for them to come to the US. It's a real shame. Uh, the bikes are still being made in Bologna. Um, there have been some rumors in the last few months, as I mentioned before, that they would be bought out by the Indians or CF Moto. Uh, Mahabaj Group that owns Kinetic has been talking to them, but the company is still Italian owned and operated. And uh, hopefully, maybe one day they'll be like Benelli, where they make the Benellis by Keyway now, as you've seen in the US with Andretti and Power Sports Factory coming in with the Andretti line and Keyway bringing in the Benelli scooters. So we don't know, we don't know. The Malagunis are still available in Europe, but they're pretty damn expensive. Um, knowing what the, situ the financial situation is in the US, who knows if anybody will be able to import them. TGB had some great ATVs on display. We went and checked those out. Uh, we also saw the new, uh, everything from the new Etons to the new Apex uh, ATVs on the market. Wu Yang, JCL, has some great, they have a 550 ATV, which we just showed you. Uh, that looked amazing. Uh, John Way had a 500cc prototype that we checked out. Uh, Zenon, which imports through Lance, Apollo, Fly Scooters, our buddies at Fly Scooters, um, already got the exclusive on some of their models, uh, which will be the only ones in the US bringing them in. And um, we saw some really cool delivery bikes at the show as well. And the Custom Scooter Show, which I mentioned, uh, which will uh, do a little special segment and put it up on there for you guys. It looks great. So stay tuned. We'll get some more videos as I have time to edit them and put them up. Uh, I've been uh, putting up as much as I can every night, but it takes time, and uh, I want to keep everybody posted. And like as I mentioned earlier, I hope uh, I hope to see you guys out at the SEMA show. Some of our dealers going we'll to be meeting with our dealers at the SEMA show in Vegas next month. And uh, if you have any requests, email me info at mrp-b.com, and we'll answer your questions as best as we can. Oh. The S-Wing from Honda, I'm going to put up a video on that as well. Uh, the S-Wing was amazing and we really liked it. So um, keep, keep watching and keep emailing us. We'll take a look at the latest news and industry happenings from the scooter world. Live from Intermont, this is Joel signing out. Bye guys.